And now it's time to dedicate a section of tape to the showbiz technicians and technical assistants on the subject of colander installation. We'll be using Billy Bob as an example installation, but keep in mind all colanders are installed by the same procedures. How's it look? Any questions? No, seriously. Let's look at the tools involved with installing a colander. The first tool you'll need is a tape measure for locating the hole in the skull. Of course, then you'll need a drill for drilling the hole in the skull and use a quarter inch drill bit. Plenty of rags to cover the mechanisms. Then you'll need a razor knife for making the incision in the head fur and a couple of hex wrenches for assembling it all. A blowgun is always handy to keep things clean during drilling operations. And the threaded rod, of course, which is supplied with your colander, with lock washers, hex nuts, and flat washers. You'll need a pen to mark the hole. And you'll find the location of the hole using your written directions. Here's Billy Bob's colander. It has been installed previously, so it already has a hole in it. You'll be drilling the holes later on, but we'll start with just drilling the skull and mounting the threaded rod. The first thing you need to do is unsnap Billy Bob's mask at the fur line. Then you also need to unsnap the snaps that are holding the mask to the skull. Once this is completed, pull the mask forward out of the way to gain access under the skull. You'll want to cover all the air cylinders with rags to prevent any fiberglass particles from getting on the piston shafts. Now let's look at the prints. Find out where this hole is going to go. You note on the print, the hole goes in the dead center of the skull, six inches back from the leading edge. Measure from the leading edge with your tape measure, six inches towards the rear. These dimensions will change from character to character so be sure to check your print. Next you'll need to measure from side to side to ensure that the hole is dead in the center of the skull. Make another mark. Now you're ready to drill the skull. Be careful not to drill too deep as we don't want to damage any internal mechanisms. After the drilling operation you want to blow off all the fiberglass dust to prevent them from getting into any internal mechanisms. Now you're ready to cut the fur. Pull the fur back into place as it would be if it was completely snapped up. Put the mask back into place. Now pull the mask out of the way and feel through the hole where the incision should be made. Mark the location of the hole. And it's a good idea just to double check it. Now with a razor knife, make a small incision. Be careful not to make any large incisions or not to tear any material. Just a hole big enough to get the threaded rod through. 
Now it's time to install the threaded rod. Assemble your installation hardware as shown. Then you insert the threaded rod through the skull and install a flat washer and a hex nut on the underside. Tighten these hex nuts against each other to lock the threaded rod onto the skull. Please note that the threaded rod does not extend into the skull past the hex nut. The threaded rod should be flush. Now you're all done with Billy Bob and you can button him back up. Make sure to realign all the snaps. And now, if your colander was pre-drilled, as ours was, it would be time to install it on the character. Use the hex nut, flat washers, and lock washers to lock the threaded rod into the colander as you did the skull. To determine exactly where your colander should be drilled, view the next segments of tape and see how ours look installed as we have them installed. Notice the dimension from the center of the eyes to the rim of the colander. These dimensions will be noted on your prints and on this tape. They are different from character to character so be sure to look at your prints. Note the clearance cuts made in the colanders for the characters with ear movements. You'll want the character's colander to sit at its specified height above its eyes, yet not interfere with any character movements. Here's a picture of Beach Bear. Notice that you still want his hair in his eyes. Notice that his specific measurement is four and a half inches. This is measured from the center of the pupil of the eyes. Let's take a look at the rest of the characters and see how they stand. Here's the Grand Poobah of Colanders. He's sitting down at a slim three and a half inches above the eyes. Moving over to the left, here's Duke. Notice he also has the ear clearance cuts. He's only at two inches. Duke is a little different from the other characters. His colander is held on by the same screws that hold his hat on. You'll have to make two clearance holes in Duke's colander. Please note that his ears don't rub. And almost last but not least, Little Earl. He's only got about an inch space above his eyes to the colander. But as long as the colander doesn't interfere with his eyebrow movement, no harm done. You probably thought we were going to forget all about Looney Bird. Well, he wasn't able to make it to the studio today, so you'll just have to wing it and go strictly by the written instructions. If you have any questions on colander installations, feel free to call Creative Engineering Collect. The man you want to speak with is Tim Inglis, and the phone number is area code 305. The number will be 425-1001.